Thrustmaster is back at it again, aiming to make waves in the sim racing world with their latest package, the T598. A mid-tier offering priced at $499, this kit includes a 5 newton meter axial direct drive motor, a GT steering wheel, and a two-pedal set. But is this the budget upgrade you've been waiting for, or just another starter kit with a bit more flash? This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and today we are testing out the Thrustmaster T598 steering wheel kit. This is a PC and PlayStation compatible setup that delivers high-end performance at a starter price. Not long ago, a starter wheel kit, which would be a wheelbase and a wheel usually connected, and a pedal set would cost you at least 300 bucks, sometimes creeping up to 400. And for that, you're getting a mostly made of plastic setup that's gonna deliver you around three Newton meters of force feedback. And now all these years later, for only $100 more, you're looking at a starter kit that delivers you a direct drive motor, replaceable wheel rims, future upgradability, and components that are increasingly made of metal, not plastic. That is a massive upgrade for only $100 more and giving you a starter kit that is capable of driving at the highest level in sim racing. The Thrustmaster T598 is the latest entry into this category, packing a lot of features into a wheel for a surprisingly low price. Let's take a closer look at what you get in this package. It all starts with the wheelbase, and in the case of the T598, we're talking about that new axial drive motor that produces 5 newton meters of torque, and it's actually capable of more than that. And I can give you all sorts of details, they have it on their website, but basically this is a motor that is specifically designed for sim racing. And with that, it has some key advantages, like zero cogging, minimized amount of rotating mass, buttery smooth force feedback, and minimize clipping. I mean, just look at that. There's no steps. There's nothing. This is the smoothest turning wheelbase I've ever seen. Now on the downside, it's a massively tall wheelbase. Very little depth to it, but it is very, very tall when compared to other wheelbases of any kind of Newton meters. The casing is made from metal with that heat sink design paired with plastic end caps sporting that Thrustmaster logo. The base has four large buttons, a tiny display, and the new Thrustmaster quick release system. On the back side, you'll find all the ports that you need, a power button, and a super secret slot for something coming soon, or at least that's what the manual says. Overall, it's a good looking base, and I'd say that it has a little bit more styling than most of the direct drive wheel bases that we've tested. Now when it comes to mounting, they've got a clamp mechanism. You can see it's intended for like a desktop user, so it's got a little bit of rake into it. And then it just uses these clamps to hold it to your desktop. I'm obviously not going to use that method. But you also have these four M6 threaded holes for secure mounting, which is exactly how we mounted it to our rig since we have an adjustable wheel deck. Switching over to the wheel rim, it's immediately obvious that this is almost entirely made of plastic, and the reason for that is, well, the weight, and the other is, well, because it's made of plastic, and you can just kind of tell. It is 11.8 inches or 300 millimeters across in a round design with smooth top and bottom. The sides have been rubberized with perforated grips bordered by red metallic stripes. Thrustmaster calls this their sports car wheel, and for me, I would call this my all-in-one wheel. This particular shape, this particular size is going to work for just about any kind of discipline. It's going to be quick enough for rally driving, it's going to be stable enough for oval driving, and it's even going to be suitable for open-wheeled scenarios. Basically, it can handle any type of racing situation. The center hub has sort of a tri- or maybe quad-spoke design, if you want to call it that. It has sort of a carbon fiber look stamped into that carbon faceplate with that Thrustmaster logo on the front. Button-wise, you've got these five different groupings of buttons, and they are very gamey or PlayStation controller type buttons, and coincidentally, they're actually labeled for PlayStation controls. In total, you've got 17 different buttons that are arranged in a variety of shapes and placements that should make in-game mapping and remembering their functions relatively straightforward. 
But the real standout, well, it's the metal magnetic paddle shifters. Yes, they're made of metal, so entirely plastic wheel, but we've got these metal magnetic paddle shifters that almost give it that pro quality feel with that snappy release and that stiff feel to them. Unfortunately, they're non-adjustable, but this is a pro-level upgrade compared to switch-based starter wheels. Another standout feature about the sports car wheel rim is that it is the new quick release, so no adapters, no flex, however, no backward compatibility. But it just slips right onto the wheelbase, clamps down, and has wireless connectivity. The pedals that come with the T598, on one hand, they are kind of basic, and you'd expect that from a sub-$500 kit. On the other hand, they're actually kind of cool for what they are. Starting with, they're all made of metal. Look at that. So you got a metal pedal set. That's pretty cool. You got to like that right there. They're adjustable. I can move my pedals left and right independently, and I can move the faces of each pedal up and down. So you've got a little adjustability there. That's definitely cool to step up over most starter set pedals. Now, I did have to assemble these, so I had to include these spring stacks into them, but that's where their adjustability lies as well. So on the throttle, for example, we've got three different positions that we can change, and that's gonna change the pressure on the spring, make them lighter or heavier, and you've got a good amount of travel, and it's very smooth, and you've got that Hall Effect sensor, so it should last forever. That works out great on the gas pedal. On the brake pedal, yes, we have springs, so it's as basic, right? but we have this Nixum type mod installed. This little piece of rubber gives you a two stage brake pedal. There are still three positions to adjust. We've got two springs to choose from. So you're gonna be able to dial in the pressure. And as far as a spring setup goes, this is as good as it gets, but it's still limited compared to like a fancy load cell or hydraulic system. Now, Thrustmaster knew that a lot of users are going to be PlayStation, maybe on their desktop, who knows? So they wanted options when it came to mounting these pedals. So they come with the rubber here, and the rubber will work good on hard surfaces. Well, they also have the carpet gripper option. If you want to install these on, you can get a little... These should hold pretty well in carpet, by the way, in my experience. But nothing beats hard mounting. So you can see there are two threaded M6 holes that we can hard mount these to our rig and that's exactly how we're gonna do it. And then as far as plugging them in, it's actually kind of interesting. It comes with this wire right here, which has like a stereo type plug and it plugs into each pedal independently. And then this plugs into the back of the base. And we do know that eventually they're going to have a third pedal option or upgrade for this. So I'm assuming that the brake will become the clutch and the new third pedal will become the brake on this three pedal setup, but that's probably not until next year, but it gives you more upgradability from pretty decent basic pedal set. When I started driving, the first thing I noticed about this setup was the sheer size of this base. It is gigantic, not so much left to right or front to back, but it's height, eight and a half inches tall, which as a shorter driver is quite an obstruction. It actually takes up the entire view between the wheel hub and the top of the rim, which can be a disadvantage. I ended up mounting the steering wheel lower than I normally would, and then I raised the interior of the car in game to compensate, so it did work out in the end. Once I got past the size, I noticed how smooth the wheel felt. Out of the box, it has very light turning resistance but you can add damping through the onboard menu if you prefer more friction. A combination of that lightweight steering wheel that comes with the T598 package and the low internal mass of this 598 design actually makes for a very fast, very responsive driving experience. This allowed the force feedback signals to come through clearly. The setup also felt impressively stiff, despite that plastic quick release, despite that plastic rim, it's solid, and without the adapter needed for the T818, the wheel locks on tightly. Despite only being five newton meters, the force feedback is another highlight of the 598 package. It starts with the way Thrustmaster does their software. They do a great job of balancing force feedback's power. I felt a good balance of oversteer and understeer cues, all helping to make quick corrections. The secondary effects like road noise, traction loss, and curbing came through nicely and can be separated from the steering forces that you feel in multiple layers while driving. Now, if my view is going to be obstructed by this gigantic base, well, there better be a benefit. So it's this little tiny display. I know I mocked and I laughed when I first saw it. It's so small, 
but in the end, I was blown away by just how clear, just how bright, and how functional it is. I actually do use it as a rev indicator, and I use it as a gear indicator, and I love that it has flag conditions and like pit markings and other useful things, and you can change the display to what you want on the onboard menu. And another built-in benefit of this giant base is the extra buttons. Sure, two of them are used for modes or settings, but I do have two buttons there which work great for like engine start or tow or something that you don't want to accidentally press on the steering wheel. Now let's be honest, this is a budget wheel rim and that is part of how they kept this under $500. But surprisingly, it's quite sturdy for plastic, at least under normal usage. When driving, I had total confidence in its overall strength and stiffness. However, when I gave it the G.I. Joe Kung Fu Grip Torture Test, it did show a fair amount of flex, reminding us that this is just a starter kit. The rubberized grip isn't as luxurious as leather or synthetic materials, but it feels decent in hand. And at under 12 inches in diameter, this round wheel works well for most driving disciplines. It's small enough for quick turning in rally and GT driving, and it offers good hand placement for ovals. Even in fast open wheel cars, it kept up well, even though a butterfly style wheel would be better suited for downforce cars. I also like the way Thrustmaster grouped the buttons on the steering wheel. So you kind of have five little groupings of the buttons, which is great for memory. So when you're trying to remember, this whole upper left might be for menus. Maybe this upper right is for pit commands. Maybe this lower left is for in-car controls. And maybe the lower right is communications. Who knows? But you can always remember what you have them mapped for. However, the buttons are undeniably gamey. They are short throw, they're plasticky, and they're reminiscent of PlayStation controllers. Heck, they're even marked that way. There are 17 in total, so there are plenty for most scenarios. Now the standout feature of the T598 sports car wheel are the magnetic paddle shifters. The shifters themselves are metal, and they are magnetic release, which is something that you would expect from a much higher end wheel, not a starter kit. They're snappy, they're rigid, and they're satisfying to use. And while they're short travel and non-adjustable, they are a massive upgrade over what you'd typically expect at this level. And this wheel is designed for Thrustmaster's new quick release system right out of the gate, so no extra adapters. And even though it's plastic, it's very strong and it allows for the real quick change. So if you do want to step up to like the 488 GT three wheel rim, you can, and it completely transforms this, and you have just this really easy to operate quick release and instantaneous connectivity to the game. And I gotta tell you, this wheel rim just made the whole setup feel that much nicer. This wheel rim does not feel as inexpensive. It feels a lot more pro. When matched with this base, it's a great combination. If you gave me a load cell with this whole setup, I'd be as dialed in as anybody in sim racing. It's a really good package. And even with those upgrades, we'd be coming in at a cost lower than some wheelbases on their own. Now granted, they're going to make a lot more horsepower. Now for the Achilles heel of the T598 setup, and that being the pedals. These pedals are just springs and pot potentiometers. Well, no, they're not even potentiometers. They're actually better than that. They are heart sensors, hull effect accurate technology sensors. And they do last a lifetime and they're extremely fast and accurate, but because it is only spring tension and that little urethane or rubber bushing, it is really muscle memory that we're relying on. How far do I press my foot rather than relying on being able to depend on pressure as our resistance. So when I'm using a load cell or a hydraulic, I'm actually using the strength of the pedal to resist against that pressure. How hard do I have to press versus how far do I have to press? And that is the one thing that keeps this from being a pro setup out of the box. Now the throttle pedal worked exceptionally well. You've got those three different positions to adjust the spring tension. You've got a good amount of travel and it is a very accurate sensor on the throttle. So I really have no complaints. This throttle, despite being a starter set, works as good as any throttle out there. And in the end, it was smooth enough and accurate enough that I had really good pedal modulation and it was very smooth and precise. 
So it's really the brake pedal that is the weak spot of this pedal set. Now, at least we have that dual stage. We've got that Nixum, reminiscent of the Nixum era, rubber bushing combined with the spring, and then our choice of two different springs and five positions. So it gives us a good variety of strength and dual stage. So when we stab the brake, we have some kind of resistance keeping us from just going to full distance like a single stage spring. So it did take a little bit of getting used to. I actually switched from shoes to socks and I was able to, in the end, do some really good braking, get some threshold braking and drive with total confidence. So that's pretty awesome. And when I consider the price of this kit, I understand that decision and just knowing that a load cell pedal is on the way is a big deal as well. At least they are metal and they definitely seem durable. So I'm pretty happy all in all. As a PC racer, I almost forgot one of the best features of the T598, and that being that it's PlayStation compatible. So I set it up on a wheel stand, grabbed a chair in front of my TV, and fired up some Gran Turismo. It has been a while, but let me tell you, driving this beautiful game with a quality setup like this is an absolute pleasure. In fact, I'd say this was one of the best Gran Turismo experiences I've had better even than with the TSPC, Thrustmaster's previous flagship PlayStation wheel. At this price point, the T598 not only delivers a premium experience, but also outshines the competition in the console racing space. Putting it all together, this is a very impressive kit, and I was able to start racing on it with total confidence. I mean, I was hammering this wheel, I was driving as hard as I could, and I was doing it very accurately, so it is a very good setup. Now, granted, it's only five newton meters, so it is light and force feedback compared to a lot of the bigger wheels out there, but it is enough that you're really feeling what's going on. The sports car wheel definitely feels on the cheap side, but the performance is there, and we're out there racing without any disadvantages compared to high-end wheels. Plus, upgrading is always an option down the road. So the T598 is a fantastic kit for those who are looking to upgrade or those who are starting on a tight budget but know they're taking their sim racing seriously and they want to get to that medium high-end level of sim racing right out of the gate. This is going to be a really good option for those sim racers. At 500 bucks, it's significantly cheaper than its Fnatic equivalent, and just $50 more than Moza's with the bonus of that PlayStation compatibility. For the price, you're getting a solid package that offers great performance, upgradability, and the compatibility to grow with you. So I think it's safe to say that the Thrustmaster T598 kit is a great testament to how far things have come in sim racing today. When I think back to my humble beginnings and the tragic gear that I was forced to start my journey with, I can't help but be envious of today's sim racer who gets to race on equipment like this right out of the gates. The bar has been raised, that is for sure. So I know we've covered a lot on today's review, but let's go ahead and zoom in on the best things about it. Starting off with the good, that being, no cogging, very smooth operation, great force feedback, incredible price point, all-in-one full kit solution, PlayStation compatibility, adjustable pedal pressure options, cool quick release system, expandable with add-on wheel rims, MIDI dash display on base. Desktop clamp mount capable. Future proof with load cell brake upgrade. Now as impressive as this kit is, nothing is perfect. So let's talk about the ways that the Thrustmaster T598 could actually be made better. And let's break it down with the not so good. Starting with this very tall, almost obstructive base. Plastic wheel rim. Buttons feel like gamepad controls. Basic pedal set, just spring and rubber resistance. And now onto the bottom line. The T598 is a very good starter package. I think that Thrustmaster nailed that sweet spot, giving you a really well-priced wheel. I mean, think about it. It's only $100 more than a T300, and it is a different league when it comes down to its features and its drivability. 
I mean, you're getting the strength and reliability of a direct drive wheel. You're getting interchangeable and upgradable wheel rims over time. You're getting a metal pedal set that has future upgradability to a load cell. And perhaps most importantly, you're buying into an ecosystem that is built to grow with you. Add to that the PlayStation compatibility and buying into one of the longest running, most trusted names in sim racing historically, that being Thrustmaster. And with that, the T598 kit starts looking like a real no-brainer. Sure, there are areas that could be improved, but let's be honest, at that price point, did you really expect there to be any more? I mean, I think they are giving you a whole lot of wheel kit for that amount of money. So I hope you've enjoyed our review of the Thrustmaster T598 steering wheel kit. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see our next video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching. This is The Simpit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.